Alrighty, here's another new day. So yesterday I really didn't get too much done on working on the car. Um, yeah, pretty much I just finished up welding the downpipes and then it's supposed to rain this week. So we ended up cleaning the garage and getting the car back in here. This way when it rains, we're dry and we can work in the garage. Yeah, right now I'm just cleaning up these turbo manifolds, getting all the spatter balls and stuff off. I took the grinder with the wire wheel and went over it to knock all the littler ones off. And now we are taking the hammer and chisel and we knock the big ones off. So these are pretty much done. I'm just going over the inside here, making sure there's no little spatter balls in there that might pop out to my turbo. You know, once all this is set up, I actually took the hammer and I went around the whole thing tapping them, trying to, you know, hopefully knocking any kind of little debris out of there that I can. These are looking good. Got them all cleaned up. Oh yeah. Alrighty, so I got my steering column out. Um, trying to get my airbag sensor taken out of it. Um, yeah, the reason why is because I had the steering column out of the black Camaro and I had busted this while I was trying to take it apart. So, um, this steering column I'm putting my GT Grant steering wheel on. So I'm not really gonna need this. So I figure I could take this out and put this back into the other car. So that's what I've been doing lately, or for today anyway. So yeah, I'm trying to get the uh, interior back together so we can put some gauges in. I finally got it out and I didn't have to take this whole um, housing off. Thank God. Thank you, Jesus. So yeah, I ended up just uh, wiggling this through. I right, pulled it up, kind of jiggled it up, and then once I got up here, it got stuck actually. Um, here, down in here. So I took this screwdriver and I just kept pushing the wires over and trying to uh, yeah, finagle it out of there and it finally popped out. Uh, I was actually at the point I was getting aggravated and I was about to just cut the wire and then jam the little connector back in there. But luckily I got it out and I didn't have to destroy it. All right, I got that steering column hooked back up in here. Uh, all I gotta do is get these little switches back in and plug the wiring back up and I should be good to go under here anyway. All right, so we got the steering column back in, got that all buttoned up. So what is next? Um, I got my radiator hoses here. You gotta figure them out. Uh, last night I went and bought this other one right here that I can adapt on. All right, so I had to pull the uh, radiator fan assembly and the radiator back out. Um, I put this hose on last night and then I was just trying to take it off and I could not get it off for the life of me while it was um, in the engine bay like that. So, But yeah, this is the hose I bought last night. This was the original hose. And yeah, the out port here is one and three quarters. So my hose wasn't fitting over that, the original one. So what I'm doing is I cut this piece off and this is about the same size as this one here and then it flares out to the one and three quarter that I need. So what I'm gonna do is chop this hose right here and we're gonna stick the radiator back in the car and then hook this hose up and this one and then we're gonna find where they meet and then I'm gonna trim this one up to meet that one and I'm gonna adapt both of them together with this piece of pipe here. Once I shorten it, I have to weld the bead, a little bead around the edge on each side. This way uh, the clamps can hold it. And then I had some factory style clamps that I'm gonna be using to do this with. Nice, right? Oh yeah, I'm liking it. Very simple. Awesome. Yeah, I didn't even cut that hose. I just shoved it on there. And it worked out great just the way the length it was. Now I have to repeat that whole process, but with the power steering uh, reservoir hose. Yup, yup, yup. Yup. 
cut this right there in the middle somewhere. And we're gonna cut a small piece of this out to make fill in the gap between the reservoir and the engine. The same deal. We're gonna weld a little bead around here for the hose clamps to grab to. Got that mofo cut, got it mocked in there, weld it, grind it, install. Oh yeah. Yeah, I hope these uh, little coupler pieces I made work out good. I have no problems with them. They should. I think it should be fine. Oh, oh yeah, baby. What's next on the fucking list? Mmm. Ay, 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 ay. Yeah, so I got my little hose clamps all secured on here. Uh, I tightened up the, the lines, the two lines I had taken off, going to the power steering pump. So now we're gonna go ahead and put the proportioning valve and my custom bracket I made for the proportioning valve on and then connect all the brake lines. So I'm using the original lines coming off the body here. All I did was just trim off the ends and take off the original fittings and then put the fittings, my fittings on here. Here's my custom bracket that I made to hold the proportioning valve. Goes so right there. Rear brake set up. I just gotta throw this one on for the front brakes. Another step bites the dust. Oh yeah. Alright, so we got the brakes all squared up. Hopefully my connections I made are nice and good and they don't leak. I really don't want to redo them again. So hopefully I got it right the first time. I marked my down pipes. I'm about to uh, drill some holes in these so we can tack in the O2 sensor bungs or the wideband sensor bungs. Got it. All right. Got my wideband bungs tacked in. Got it set up on the car right now. Checking it out before we do the final welds. So, yeah, I think they look pretty good. Try to get them straight, you know, as best I can. But I'm not, I'm not the best at perfect. So I think they're good enough. All right. Let me weld these son of a bitches up. And yeah. I don't know what's next, but I'm kind of confused on a lot of this. It's like, I'm uh, just going from one thing to another. It's crazy. Really, too much, too many little things. All right, so I gotta say, it is awesome when you have two of the same car, because let me tell you how many times I've already had to come back to this thing just to take a look to figure out where a wire went or a bolt or something like that. But anywho, so I ended up just getting back from the old pick and pull. And I had to grab me some O2 sensor wire and some little clips that um, hold the wire in because the ones that were on this car when I took it apart I used my uh, little uh, pry tool and snapped all the little ends off so I couldn't get them back in. So that's what I did today. Yeah, I grabbed these O2 wires. So the whole reason for grabbing these um, O2 wires was because uh, I wasn't sure if I had to put the old O2 sensors back in with the wideband sensors or if I just had to run the wideband sensors now, but I'm pretty sure I need the original factory O2 sensors in there too. So um, that's the research that I came to anyway, it seems to be. When I put these bungs in yesterday, um, I was putting them in for the wideband and when I started reading the directions for the kit I bought, uh, it said to have these placed six inches away from the exhaust outlet, which is on the turbo right here. So I have these and it's about, I mean, if you measure from the bottom here to here, it's like three inches or so, maybe three and a half. Um, if I measured from the middle and did the whole wrap around, yeah, that's about six. But I'm pretty sure, you know, that's only three inches away. It's really close, so I was a little worried. So I figured I was going to put the original stock O2 sensors in here. And then I'm going to install the wideband ones just down a little further on the pipe. So that's the whole plan. But to do that, I had to go 
I went to uh, Old Pick and Pull and I grabbed these long ass um, O2 wires up. I found actually like a 90 Suburban that they were long as hell as you can see and I snipped them out. I found two, two of them actually because this goes to the rear O2 sensor. They ended up being the same wiring and the same clip actually for uh, my front O2 sensors. So earlier today when I made my way to the pick and pull, my whole plan was for these uh, wires was to cut this end here, take this end, solder it on this wire, and chop this end off too, and then uh, yeah, solder this wire back to that wire. So it's pretty much this would have been just one long wire so I can route you know, back to the back where the original connector is for the O2 sensor. But when I was there, um, when I had chopped one of those wires out, this connector was actually on there, which is the same one. It was already cut, and it was on the wire. I had, didn't even mean to take this. I took it off and, you know, dropped it in my wheelbarrow, and then when I got out to the parking lot, I realized it was under my toolbox, so I just threw it in the truck. And then when I got back here, I figured instead of even cutting these wires, I can just make a jumper wire. I can just solder this to the end of that, you know, figure out my length, cut it, and then solder this in, and then I won't have to cut these O2 wires on this one, and uh, yeah, it'll be more plug and play. So in the future, if one of these ever go out, I can just unplug it, take it out, and then just plug a new one in. I won't have to cut the wire and then solder the you know the long wire to the the sensor itself. But I only have this one spare connector, so I'm gonna have to make a an extra trip up to the old pick and pull to go grab another one. But that's not that big of a deal. But I'm gonna go ahead and work with what I got. All right, so for now, I'm gonna try to make my harness. Um, yeah, get it put together, getting it in the sheathing, and I'm gonna have to get a few more pieces of this stuff so I can Y out with each one. All right, I'm going ape shit over here with this wiring, and I haven't even started soldering yet. So the whole thing I've been doing here is the original um, battery connections for the uh, positive and negative. I'm trying to figure out how to hook them up and have enough slack to run everything, which I pretty much just figured it all out. Um, originally, this is the, here we got us a little extra light, but uh, yeah, the original positive and negative terminals. The original negative one actually hooked up down in there, ran across here, and then came up, I think over here on this side. And then the original positive, that I have here um, ran across here and then came up right here. So when I did the upright with the radiator and I'm trying to keep the wiring still attached to it the way it was with all the original clips, um, it kind of stretched it back because now that this isn't uh, leaning down anymore and it's upright, it's kind of yanking all the wires um, more around that way. So I pushed them back and now I got the terminal here. My plan is just to get a long ass um, positive cable because I actually want to attach my battery in the, uh, the rear quarter in the trunk right there. And I'm gonna run the positive cable all the way across and coming out the grommet there and then I'm just gonna bolt it back to this uh, positive one from the battery. And I'm gonna do the same thing with the negative. I re rerouted the negative uh, back around through there and got that connected there and then yeah want to get another negative one and then run that to the back quarter as well Woo! But let me tell you this is a lot of figuring and it literally took me hours to try to figure this crap out um, and then yeah also uh, now originally here's the alternator wire that was originally ran I think down around this way and then came up to where the positive is and now I have it ran through here up and through there and then wrapped around here so and uh, I did all this trying to figure out my O2 sensors and how that wire was going with the uh, the harness so this was the jumper harness I made for my O2 sensors and I got this routing all the way across here and then I have to still solder on the ends in the back where it breaks off and goes to the, the left side and the right side bank one and bank two so yeah let me tell you what a damn brain fucking fuck. This wire, where this grommet is right here, I actually have to run my 202 sensors and the negative and positive battery cables through this grommet. 
So I ended up cutting this piece off here and now this will be able to stretch so I can jam those four wires through there, the extra ones. So yeah, and also all this extra wire was hanging out so I cut the, uh, the casing off of it and then I'm going to feed all this into the, uh, to the interior area. But uh, I am so damn happy that I finally got this shit figured out. Oh, because this was uh, yeah, wearing on me. It's awesome. It's coming along. And we're about done, I would say, because all these little things that I'm doing now were the things that were, yeah, slowing me down. I was trying to think of them all and figure it out. I pretty much got it squared up. Just have to put my uh, wideband bungs in on each side on those pipes. And, yeah, start running the wideband wiring. All right, y'all remember this thing from the upright radiator video? Probably not, but yeah, I was uh, I had the original radiator shroud fan assembly laying on the ground. I walked by, kicked this, and snapped it off. So I ended up taking Wifey's nail glue, and I glued the end back on. And now I'm gonna take this steel stick here, mix it up, and then pack it all around that area and then hopefully that strengthens this up yeah i'm kind of just like all over right now between the wiring i'm also trying to do the uh the plugs and the wires too on top of all this see i got the old plugs here they're pretty much burnt out it looks like yeah the old plugs pretty much shot these were bosch platinums swapping them out with the ngk platinums i would have got the uh i think they're called iridian ones but these were half the price, so I'm sure these platinum ones are gonna work just fine. Yeah, but I'm pretty much just all over with this right now. I'm just trying to button up everything. Um, yeah, I am fucking shot, but I'm just pushing and pushing through. I just wanna get this shit done. I'm almost there. I swear, just a couple more days, I feel like. I just sit out here. I'll have it done in a couple days. Oh, but I'm trying to get it done quick because I have to take a trip to New York and I'm gonna be gone a while. So I at least wanna get the car um, mechanically finished. And then all I have to do when I get back is figure out how to tune it. So that'll be great. I can just get it all put together. And then once I get back, then I'll start playing around with trying to self uh, teach myself to tune this motherfucker. That's gonna be a whole nother, oh. Mm, but gonna be fun i know that much aggravating but fun yeah i'm pretty much gonna leave it off here i'm gonna go ahead and get my spark plugs and spark plug wires i'm gonna get as much as i can done on that wiring harness and uh yeah tool up this little doodad here and then yeah i'll pick up from where i left off tonight see y'all then Right, we're mixing up the steel stick. Let me tell you, this shit smells like ass. I don't know why it smells like that. Well, I hope that does it. I'm sure it will. Probably gonna be stronger than it ever was.